what is going on my beautiful darlings thank you so much for clicking it's me your internet bestie aj and i am here with a highly requested album by who a lot of y'all have described as lana del rey the lana del rey queen of mother lana del rey <laughs> So y'all have described this artist as Lana Del Rey's daughter, okay? And her name is Ethel Kane. This album is titled Preacher's Daughter, and it's been highly requested, as I stated, all right? So y'all already know what we're about to do with our father auto. Let's get into this first listen. Track Mura Uno, Family Tree, Intro. I'm gonna be reading the lyrics, okay? On Spotify. Let me start the song all over again, my babe. It's so bassy, I like. These crosses all over my body. In Christ, forgive these bones I'm hiding. Excuse me? Hold on. And Christ forgive these bones I'm hiding. Did you kill somebody, girl? You know what? Let me keep listening. Jesus can always reject his father. When did Jesus reject his father, girl? Hold on, let me put a goddamn mark. Wow, y'all. Hmm. I don't know how the hell I'm gonna do this because um, when when I'm focusing on the lyrics, it's hard for me to enjoy the sound of the music. But goddamn, this was gorgeous. I loved that outro. So I'm gonna have to read um the very last verse. All right, so Ethel. Gorgeous intro. I'm not sure what the song is about. Family tree. Maybe the song is about, you know, family. Clearly they're religious as hell because she sang about Jesus Christ and, you know, the Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. Um, Jesus can always reject his father, but he cannot escape his mother's blood. You know what? I'm not going to try to interpret this song like I know this girl. I don't know her like that. I don't even know her at all talking about I don't know her like that so I'm just gonna leave it at that this song sounded gorgeous and I look forward to the next track number two American Teenager different So I gotta applaud. First of all, I like, was that the pre-chorus? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Not this whole being wasted at church. I know a lot of y'all can relate. She said Sunday morning, hands over my knees in a room full of faces. I'm sorry if I sound off, but I was probably wasted. 
Oh wait, maybe she was in an AA meeting and not necessarily like a church, but it's Sunday. Girl, you know what, let's keep listening. <laughs> I'm going back. I like this one. I like the way it sounded. So different from um, track number two. All right. All right, American Teenager. That was that was a lovely song. I love the chorus, especially that pre-chorus. And it feels me there. I like this one. Hold on, let me put it get to mark. I like American Teenager. So if I'm not paying attention to the lyrics, if I'm not reading the lyrics, it's hard for me to understand what she's singing. And I think it's because of the way her vocals were produced on the song. They sound echoey. They're not as clear. Other than that, I like the way the song sounded. I do enjoy the sound of the music. Lyrically, um, I don't know what the song is about. I know I'm <laughs> the lyrics are right in front of me, but conceptually, I don't know what it is about. Track number three, A House in Nebraska. on this. I like this one y'all. emphasizes the point I feel so alone I feel so alone out here and she sounds so alone on the song and her vocals are isolated a little bit yes construction put it together more because god damn it she delivered um so based on my understanding this song is about someone who got away right this is about an ex boo thing they used to spend time in a house in nebraska on the second floor unfortunately this person dipped 
and she lost her person and she feels so alone. God damn, this was beautifully sung. That outro was gorgeous. And I love the fact that I could actually hear the vocals clearly and understand what she was singing. This was a lovely track. Probably my favorite on the album so far. Actually, it is my favorite on the album so far. Yeah, I love it. Track number four, Western Nights. For some reason, that intro, the, um, his never looked more beautiful, reminded me a little bit of Madonna. Random, I know. Breaking into the I watched him show his love through shades of black and blue. As in like, homeboy was knocking my out? Hopefully not you. Girl. you bent over getting pounded and you making so much noise that the neighbors are like shut the fuck up god damn it <laughs> hold on Western Nights is a beautiful, beautiful song. And I absolutely love the chorus on this track. And hold on, let me put it at that mark because this is something that I could totally see myself just listening to on a long ride. Um, lyrically, this song is about Falling in love with a bad boy, girl. Talking about breaking into ATMs. What the hell is wrong with y'all? Y'all need to learn how to in silence. God damn it. Put a pillow over your goddamn face. What's wrong with y'all? Or just kiss. You ain't gotta be loud. God damn. Bothering everybody around you just because you're getting fucked. Anyways, um, so Ethel does not have the best choice in men. And that could be attributed to possibly her upbringing. Track number five, Family Tree. Another one. All right, so we have Family Tree intro and now we have Family Tree. Okay. Seven minutes? Hold on. I didn't realize how long her songs were. The fuck? These curses all over my body. Give myself up to him and offering. I just realized how clear her vocals are. Okay. I'm just a child, but I'm not above violence. Huh? Hold on, 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 hold
but I'm not above violence. What? What's going on? Hold on! Let's keep listening. I love when artists let the instrumentations just take over a motherfucking song, especially when it's good. Hey, you go deep. Go deep. So take me. This was, this was... Hold on, everybody got a mark! Family Tree. So, Family Tree... Lord Jesus, help me understand what the hell Family Tree is about because I'm afraid that I am misinterpreting this song. Anyways, I loved the sound of this track. Didn't didn't seem like she she sang a lot of words, but the song is long, right? It's over seven minutes long. It didn't seem like it was seven minutes long. That's a good thing, which means that I was fully engaged in. I just love the fact that she let the instrumentals take over during certain parts of the song, and her voice went deep when she needed to emphasize a certain point, and I just love the way it was composed. It's a gorgeous track and I would hear it again. One of my favorites. Track number six, Hard Times. <laughs> misinterpreting oh no i was hoping that i was misinterpreting the previous song no hopefully I'm, i am what the hell is going on please stop oh hold on she said in the corner on my birthday you watched me dancing right there in the grass i was too young to notice that some type of love could be bad girl what are you saying no
sleep, too tired to move, too tired to leave. I'm tired of you, you're still tired of me. Girl, what are you saying? Oh my God. Oh no, girl. I'm so sorry. Man, this sucks. Is this about... Girl. Track number seven, Thoroughfare. Previous song really fucked me up, y'all. That is some fucked up shit. And you said, hey, do you wanna see the West with me? Oh, I can understand, girl. But I'll come with you if you sure it's what you need. She said, um, honey, love's never meant much to me. How could it? It's so complicated to her. So we made off of California to find your love. Cause for the first time since I was a child, I could see a man. I finally know just where I'm headed. How old was she with this man? And 27 seconds long. It's three whole songs in a goddamn song. Girl. Anyway, so Ethel was ready to get out of Texas so much so that she met some stranger, hopped in his truck, and decided to head out west. She didn't give a damn where this man came from. She felt safe with this person. And she was like, you know what? You give me good vibes. Okay, I'm all about the vibes. If I die, I die, bitch, all right? Hopefully I make it to the West, but I am trusting you with my life right now. And I'm hopping in your goddamn truck and I'm gonna stay with you in all these goddamn hotels and motels. Girl, you have so much faith, what the hell? Track number eight, Gibson Girl.
guilty for liking the song. So this song sounds incredible, but God damn it, the lyrics! Hold on, let me put a goddamn mark. So based on my understanding, it seems like this song is about a woman of the night? Somebody who, I, I don't know if it's about a stripper. I don't know if it's about a prostitute. I wonder if this whole album is a personal project. Like this is based on actual events that occurred in her life. Track number 10, a word I cannot pronounce. P-T-O-L-E-M-A-E-A. Ptolemy. Ptolemy. Ptolemy! Daughters of Cain, bound to suffering, eternal through the sins of their fathers, committed long before their conception. Blessed to be their more mothers, tired and angry, waiting with pain breath, and a fairy that will never live again. Blessed to be the children, each and every one come to know their God through some senseless act of violence. Blessed to you, girl, promised to me by a man who can only feel hatred and contempt towards you. I am no good nor evil, simply I am, and I have come to take what is mine. I will there in the dark. What? I was there in the dark when you smelled your first blood. What the fuck? What you mean? I'm here now as you run from me still. Run, then, child, you can't hide from me forever. What in the Lucifer? is going on here, Ethel Kane? Were you having a conversation with the devil? What the fuck? That outro sounded quite demonic. And I can see why. Reading the lyrics is like, who the fuck are you talking to? You know? Um, wow, it sounds like, it sounds like she was going through some shit. Track number 10, August Underground.
Did somebody die? Um. Okay. Let's move on. Tragnery 11, Televangelism. So two songs over three minutes long with just instrumentals. What's going on, honey? Track number 12, Sun Bleached Flies. Sun bleached flies sitting in the window. So my understanding this song is about being so far away from home and just missing certain aspects of home she mentioned um church on sundays and she also mentioned uh the house in nebraska so i'm assuming she is nowhere near home probably out in the west or something and you know she's just looking back on life and and realizing that although life was shitty as fuck um there are certain aspects that she misses track number 13 last track on this album strangers <laughs> So this outro, mama, just know that I love you and I'll see you when you get here, literally just confirmed that this album may not be from a personal perspective and it's more fiction than not. 
maybe certain elements are drawn from her personal life but majority of the album is not fingers crossed because the lyrics on this album are trifling as hell girl they are just cr oh my gosh. and i know that some people can relate to these lyrics and it breaks my heart to know that but i'm just hoping for ethel that um this album is predominantly fiction and just you know just a concept type of album with that said well we have finally come to the conclusion of this album and i gotta say god damn what a motherfucking journey oh i'm not gonna lie y'all i'm gonna need a second listen for this album because i don't think i got the concept <laughs> the lyrics were right in front of me but god damn Initially, I thought it was, you know, based on personal experiences, but I don't think it is. I don't think it is. Anyways, y'all, um, this album was quite long. I gotta say, a lot of the songs were longer than I, I thought. Jesus, seven minutes? Nine minutes? Like, what? So, my favorite songs on my initial listen include Family Tree, the intro, American Teenager, A House in Nebraska, Western Nights, Family Tree, Hard Times, oh my gosh, Hard Times. I liked it sonically, lyrically, I don't fuck with it. Um, Gibson Girl, Gibson Girl, and yeah, that's about it. Those are my favorites and my initial list, and what about y'all? Please let me know in the comment section what songs were your favorites, and what songs grew on you if you've listened to this album again thank you so much for watching this video and thank you for recommending this album it was one of a kind for sure um did not expect did not expect it lyrically all right but uh i'm glad i got to listen to it so thank you for recommending it and thank you for watching this video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up subscribe and share and i will see you in the next video have a good day. 